I'm doing a bit of a mission spot, a bit of a kid's talk. In this, we've got to think about missionaries and what they do. Does anyone know what a missionary, who a missionary is and what they do? Go Dan. What do you reckon they do? Who are they? Maybe someone who isn't eating. <laughs> Go with Sage. Yep, different. So that was a good definition. Person who goes to a different country and tells them about Jesus. I'd like to say goes to a different place other than maybe your hometown, because you could probably you could probably go to some place on the other side of Australia and be a missionary. I reckon. Um, but that's you're telling people about Jesus. That's your that's your goal, isn't it? Yeah. So I've got some books. And and uh, adults don't don't fall asleep because uh, we're we're getting close to Christmas and um, some of these books will be on the bookstore. Good tonight. So I've got some books and I'm going to tell you a bit about some of them. This one is about a woman who wanted to be a missionary, but she had trouble finding out how to. And then one time she got on a boat, went to Hawaii, and that's how God made her a missionary. So there's Betsy Stockton, and that's one of the books that will be on the bookstall. This is one about Alice and the King's Quest. And this introduces kids to how God sends missionaries to people he wants to be loved and know about him in a night's nights kind of way. This one, where still will still be a family, is about a missionary family who moves away and how all the different things that they have to get used to, they, they find it hard, but they're still a family. Um, this one, this one is good for older kids because there's lots of words, maybe good to do as a family. Um, window on the world. It goes through lots of different countries, gives a couple of fun facts, lots of information on who the people are in the world who don't know Jesus and prayer points and stuff like that. That's a good one. And then this one, I'm going to read a little bit of this one. On this mountain is about a boy who doesn't know Jesus and lives in a town that doesn't know Jesus and God is showing us in this book how he wants everyone to know about Jesus. I'm going to read a little bit of this book upside down, somehow. Maybe this way. Every morning, just as his family had done for thousands of years, Tashi would make a food offering for Buddha. But today, Tashi woke earlier than usual. He was excited to worship at the festival. While he waited to enter the monastery, Tashi burnt incense as an offering to the spirits. He could hear his grand grandmother's chanting. She was saying words that his family had said for generations. But no one in the crowds knew Je who Jesus was. There was no Christians to tell them. The Bible says, when Jesus saw the crowds, he felt sorry for them. They were confused and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. Dear God, Jesus loved people who did not know you. Help us to love Tashi and his family. Amen. So that's a bit, a bit of that book and shows us how God wants people to be loved. And we can help with that by sending out missionaries to tell people about God. So we're going to do a quick prayer, and then I'll tell you about the kids' sheets. Please bow your heads or close your eyes, and I'll pray. Dear God, you created everyone on earth. You love them and want them to have a relationship with you. We pray that you would send more missionaries to people who don't know you. 
We pray that you would give us generous hearts and that you would help us to think for and pray about missionaries and the people that they talk to about Jesus. In your powerful name we pray. Amen.